is going to be. I have never been more ready for anything in my entire life. I cannot wait to see what's on the horizon. I'm ready. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Let's just get the show started. You're sweating. Up next, we'll see two teams who are on a collision course, and it's happening right here. We have Team Carl Anderson in a match of epic proportions. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. And it looks to me like this entire yes. arena is on its feet, and understandably so. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. Off the tag, here comes his partner. Double team action on the way. Luke Gallows helped develop the Magic Killer because Gallows didn't just want to win matches, he wanted to put his opponents out of action for a long time. I got right to the gut! The magic killer from Luke Gallows proves that when you have the power and know how to punish an opponent, all it takes is one maneuver to put that opponent out. Just take a look at all the superstars who have fallen at the hands of Luke Gallows and the magic killer. Some superstars have said that even though they return to action, they know they'll never be the same. Sit down, pile driver! Oh, look at that. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Hits with the clothesline. He's just so dominant. Again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. On the flip side of what Byron was saying earlier, we've seen superstars relax a bit after being slotted high in the rankings. And that, of course, is the last thing you want to do in a situation like this. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that with this superstar, Cole. Some competitors are known for believing their own height, but that's definitely not the case here. Tag is made. What's going to happen here? Boom! Off the boot! I must say, fellas, I was absolutely shocked when I saw the latest weekly rankings. How in the world did this superstar secure such a high spot? Oh, my goodness! Crushing it! And set him up. Oh, I need him here. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. As we've seen many times over the years, the weekly rankings can be a source of great debate. And Byron, it seems Corey has taken issue with this week's rankings. Do you have any issue with how this week's numbers played out? Not at all, Michael. In fact, I applaud the voters for getting, in my opinion, everything right from top to bottom. Every superstar knows that the key to being a perennial main eventer is securing a favorable spot in the weekly rankings, just like this superstar did this past week. He wants to do this in the ring. Just a little showboat, Carl Anderson. Corey's absolutely right. The weekly rankings are so very important to achieving long-term success here in the WWE. 
But what everybody has to realize is getting that favorable ranking is only half the battle. That's right. Now comes the hard part, maintaining that ranking. When you're ranked as high as this superstar, you can bet your back has a gigantic target on it. Believe it or not, guys, this superstar wasn't overly pleased with this past week's rankings. You know what? I tend to agree. Oh, look. Luke Gallows in position. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Choke slam. Oh, it's over. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. Well, while I disagree with Corey's assessment of this week's rank, Luke Gallows is going in for the kill. Magic killer. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. The pitfalls of gravity, Michael. Penny predicament. Kick out. He isn't going to go away that easy. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Here's Ed. Boom. Rocket kick. I knew. Boom. Rocket kick. This one's over, guys. Anderson is looking at this right now. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful. Magic killer! Too sweet. This is all but over. He's going for the pin. He breaks the pin. The clothesline finds the mark. Oh boy, he is rolling. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Oh, what an there. uppercut! Sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Are we going to see the tag bar? There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Well, I don't know how much more Carl Anderson can endure. I agree, Carl. It's about time to hit the showers and drown your sorrows. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. The weekly rankings are up, guys, and this superstar has to feel pretty darn good about them. If you're this superstar, you got to be happy about where you're listed in the recent power rankings. That's a killer. Can he finish the job? A favorable ranking for sure for this superstar is buying the same, but that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. It's been one great performance. There's a pin now. They did it. Wow, what a match. Byron, I can't see how you get a better tag team victory than you just saw there. That was nice. Yeah, no love loss between these two teams, that's for sure. This tag team uh, rubbing their victory in the face of their fallen opponents. So painful. Jeez. The damage has been done. Clearly on a mission here. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. Who will reign supreme?
spinning kick to the gut. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. He delivers a hard clothesline. I gotta say, guys, I have been incredibly impressed by what we've seen from this superstar in recent weeks. And look at... Well, Byron, you're not the only one impressed by what you've seen as of late. It seems these responsible for the weekly rankings have also taken notice because the superstar comes into tonight with quite an impressive spot. And well-deserved, too, I might say. It just goes to show that wins here in WWE go a long way in solidifying your spot on the roster. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Incoming. The end may be near. Ah! Striking combination. But he's got to capitalize now. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems. And that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. He has him right where he wants him. We know what's coming here. He's inflicting some serious pain here. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Man, I wonder if Strong can survive this. And it's, he's got the shoulders down. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look out! Nobody takes to the skies quite like him. Oh, what a splash! Oh boy, he is rolling. Bravo to the voters this past week. It seems they finally got the rankings right. And I know this superstar agrees with me. It's about time. Oh, what a drop kick on the mark. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Look at this. Well, while Corey logs the power rankings voting process, I will. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. The leg drop. It's all over but the crying. He may have discovered his favorite move. Game, set, map. He's got him covered. Real close, too close for comfort. Strong is still in the fight. It's all for his family. Oh boy, he is rolling. Big move coming. Wait for it. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Nobody comes back from this. This one is over. Come on, Roger Strong, you can do this. He goes for the cover. We've got a cover. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell the shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. There he goes again. What's going to happen here? No, so don't do section. this. Oh, gosh. Sunset into a power bomb. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for attack. Oh, boy, he is rolling. 
bringing it back into the ring. He might have it. What a series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Whoa. Message delivered. That should do it. And a pin attempt. Yes! Unreal performance. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match Here's you're going to want to watch again Very and again epic. and again. Epic. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. We have Charlotte versus a formidable opponent. I can't wait. Here comes the queen. Where's this going? The following contest is scheduled oh, come for... on, get in the ring and do this the right way. Right to the face. Delivers the axe handle. the chop. Charlotte not in a good place right now. But you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. Ooh, pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys, and from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. There it comes. Rude awakening! The referee has seen enough, and this one is over before it begins. Come on, ref. And she got her with a clothesline. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. This is gonna be amazing! My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias' musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just born to run all over WWE. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike, sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live music performances, if those qualify as such.
It didn't take long for Shinsuke Nakamura to rise to the top of NXT less than five months after his debut. He beat Samoa Joe at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2 to become NXT Champion. Before the bell even rang, Nakamura showed why he was NXT's rock star as a live violinist played. By the end of the match, he was also NXT's champion. Oh, he turns it around. The two of you were discussing Nakamura versus Samoa Joe, the match I was lucky enough to call as part of NXT's commentary team. Those two guys like to hit hard, and the end result showed it. As Samoa Joe left the battle without his title and with a dislocated jaw. It was just the start of their rivalry, which would include even more brutal matches. Elias covers. All too easy for Shinsuke Nakamura to escape. Still too fresh. And setting him up. Plenty of force behind that knee. Quick thinking by Shinsuke Nakamura. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. He's going for it all. Look at this. Went for the dive and got it. He gets him with a reversal. Oh, Elias able to avoid damage. His shoulders are down. All too easy for Shinsuke Nakamura to escape. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. Toss to the outside. Yeah, let's hope he can keep this kind of effort going. Elias is such a determined competitor. Guys, how can you face off against a performer with such a hungry heart? Oh, let's not beat around the bush. Elias is a terrible musician. He's also got an outrageous ego. If you can get under his skin about his lack of musical talent, you're what Shinsuke Nakamura putting together here. So damaging. This could be it. That's it. Nakamura just ended it. Going back to strategy about Elias, while I don't agree with Corey's sentiment about Elias' talent, Byron, would you say that heckling could work against Shinsuke Nakamura may have... Kinshasa! This one's over. He's going for the pin. There's the pinfall and the victory. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches Here in recent winner, WWE history. Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the We have a great match coming up next versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. Big shoulder tackle. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Belly to belly. Vicious. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, oh, momentum man. has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid it. Wow. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. Does Orton even know where he is? Here he goes. Turn out the lights. The party is definitely over now. So much force behind that power bomb. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. He's calling for it. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Pop up power 
powerbomb. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. The force of that imp... Yes! Takes it! And here's another glance at these superstars in action. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. Here is one your of the winner, great WWE matches John. I've ever been able to watch. And that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the car. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have a real fan favorite. I can't wait. These competitors are squaring off, looking to outmatch each other. It's gonna be a tall task for one of these two. Slam down. Looking for all the glory here. Rikishi gets the shoulder up. It's way too early. Lariat. Suplex. Vertical suplex. Nice. And he hits a hellacious neck breaker. Rikishi beginning to look a little weak right there. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Can he end it here? Rikishi got the worst end of that stick. He's playing with him now. Big move coming. Wait for it. And there's a bone crunching drop. We got a cover. This singles contest has a victor. Let's take a little look at some of the action from that match. Wow. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for winner. years and Whoa. only see a match Whoa. that good a few Harris. times. Epic. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents versus Finn Balor. If their love wasn't apparent during that entrance, the WWE Universe is firmly behind Finn Balor. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Finn Balor is in action, nice. and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. And now Finn Balor heads up.
getting his attention with a vicious strike. He got him good there. He's starting to show signs of fatigue, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has oh, plenty man. of fight left in it. He's barking about something now. This is uncalled for. Ah. Drop down. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Up and over with a suplex. This is going to be big one way or another. Look at this. Thing's not looking great for Finn Balor. Oh. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. And knowing him the way I do, I'm willing to bet he thought he was going to get through this match unscathed. But that obviously is not the case here. Oh, and what impact. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Finn Balor. Balor looking to end it. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. No doubt about that one. Finn Balor going high risk. Cooted Ross. That has got to be it. Here's the cover. Look at this. You know, Byron, in talking about Finn Balor, you brought up Becky Lynch. She actually trained as Finn's student. Says she owes her life to him. Just another example of how influential Finn Balor is. Everywhere Finn's been, he's improved and left it a better place. Ireland, England, Japan, NXT, and he wants to do the same now in WWE. Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.